The tragic tale of Princess Delphine, who battled for decades to be acknowledged as the Belgian king's daughter. Like other kids, Princess Delphine of the Kingdom of Belgium had an ordinary childhood. But when she was 17, things in her life began to change. At that time, Baroness Sybil de Selly's long champs, her mother, took her to their preferred London restaurant. Then the big secret was revealed to Delphine, she was born to Prince Albert, a Belgian national who would go on to become King Albert II. Although Delphine wasn't overly shocked, she was glad to hear the reality. Albert has been Delphine's mother's close friend for her entire life. She even had pleasant recollections of Albert, whom she used to refer to as papillon, a French word for butterfly. When Delphine was with Albert, she felt at ease, something she had never experienced when she was with Jacques Boll, the man who was once thought to be her father. At the age of 55, Delphine has gained recognition as a princess of the Belgian kingdom. Obtaining this status wasn't an easy feat. The people mocked her until the king turned her down. Princess Delphine is the hidden child of King Albert II, who had an affair with Delphine's mother, Baroness Sybil Sellys de Longchamps, after it was revealed that he had abdicated. Delphine claimed that the scandal surrounding her mother's extramarital affair with the heir apparent did not occur overnight. In a documentary, Delphine and her mother once revealed that their 18-year romance had begun in 1960. Through Sybil's father, the late ambassador Count Michel-Francois de Sely's longchamps, Albert first became acquainted with Sybil. Albert and Sybil were married at the time of their meeting. But Sybil claimed that her marriage to Albert was unhappy. Three children were born to Paola Ruffo di Calabria, an Italian princess whom Albert had married. In the meantime, Sybil and Jacques Boll were formally wed in 1962. Despite their marital status, Sybil and Albert have a happy marriage. Sybil claimed that Albert frequently sent cards and gifts paid her and Delphine a visit at their Belgian apartment, and took them on vacation. According to the documentary, Albert even considered divorcing his wife and moving to London with Sybil and Delphine at one point. Sybil, however, convinced him against making a choice that would have disastrous political ramifications. Delphine did not rush to defend her status. Even though her mother informed her that she was the King of Belgium's daughter, Delphine is aware of the potential consequences for her father should she disclose this information to the public. I have to protect, first of all, my father. I also have to protect my mother and my country. Because my whereabouts are known and they know that I was born out of wedlock, on the one hand my father's background as a devout Catholic, then it will there was a big scandal and my father might lose his throne, Delphine recalled to Vanity Fair in 2022. No matter how angry you are, you remain silent because the impact could be very bad, she continued. Delphine withheld from the public for many years who her biological father was. Even the partner in her relationship. I started dating around 18, and guys asked me the question, who is your father, and what does he do? Yeah. I said in response, then lied or changed the topic. Lying bothers me, Delphine declared. It was a very tough task, 
but of course it was extremely difficult. I had to keep the secret, I knew that. But the quality was poor. Due to the revelation of her identity, Princess Delphine faced mockery and exclusion. The king's son, he then battled to be acknowledged as such. When Baroness Sybil de Selly's Longchamps visits King Albert II's home, she makes an unexpected admission. She acknowledged that for eight years, she and the king had been having an affair behind Queen Donna's back. It is believed that Princess Delphine's admission served as the impetus for her legal battle in court to defend her child rights, legal status, and royal title. It was not an easy task for him to fulfill this desire. This is a result of the numerous challenges she faced before ultimately succeeding in the lawsuit. Princess Delphine also requested that King Albert II conduct a DNA test through this lawsuit. King Albert II, however, was penalized for defying the court's order. The first time I visited him, King Albert, and his lawyer, he was very mean and made me cry. I never thought I would go to court. But I do it with certain principles, said Putri Delphine in the VTM documentary, quoted from Style. After an extended battle, at the end of the trial, King Albert II conceded only that Princess Delphine was his biological child. On October 1, 2020, Princess Delphine officially adopted the surname Saxe Coburg after winning the legal battle. She celebrated this milestone by renaming her social media account from at Delphine underscore bowl to at Delphine underscore de underscore Saxe underscore Coburg. Josephine and Oscar, her two children from her marriage to Jim O'Hare, also attained the royal titles of princess and prince in the interim. Delphine, along with her three siblings, Prince Laurent, Princess Astrid, and King Philippe, was entitled to the inheritance following the death of King Albert II. Princess Delphine was just a well-known artist until she battled for her father's acceptance. Delphine drew the ageless love statue in a St. Nicholas Park and had a beer label made by Struis after graduating from Chelsea School of Art in 1991. Princess Delphine also frequently posts updates about her activities on social media. She doesn't limit her time to being an artist. Nonetheless, she also serves as an advocate for women who have breast cancer.